Wedding Stories is not exactly The Sims team's finest work, and what I mean by that is when it came out, it literally didn't work. So it's kind of a controversial Sims pack just because of how many issues it had when it first released. I think it's gotten better now, it usually works most of the time, but I would say that the world that came with Wedding Stories is probably the best one we've ever gotten in a game pack. It's really big, especially compared to the other game pack worlds. I mean, you compare Tartosa to like the vampires world, Forgotten Hollow only only has four lots versus Tartosa that has like double the amount and it's got way more open space. I really, really like it here and I've noticed that I think a lot of you all like this world a lot too. Whenever I talk to my Twitch chat about like, oh, where should I build today? A lot of people in the chat will suggest Tartosa and there are a lot of worlds in The Sims 4 now and most of these don't get recommended as often. Nobody's yelling saying like, oh, build an evergreen harbor, you know, for example. So that's kind of a good sign for the popularity of this world. But you know, no, despite all that, I don't really build here that often. Unfortunately, I build a lot in like Newcrest just because it's already all empty and it has pretty good lighting on most of the lots, but there's so many other beautiful places to build and I was kind of working on a build a few minutes ago that I realized maybe I should stop and record. This is kind of strange, okay? So hear me out. I'm feeling a little bit inspired by a lot of these houses in Santorini and this one is not in Santorini, but I really liked the shape of this. I also really love this arched part of the roof and the wall. So that part was kind of the main inspiration and we can't really recreate that exactly in the game. I'm just gonna start this over so I can show you my thought process. But what we can do is use roof pieces to try and mimic a wall. So I could just remove all the overhang, curve this, and then make it a little bit lower. And then we can just try to use that as if the wall was arched. Cause once I paint that, it looks like it's all one wall. In an ideal world, the roof part would also look like part of the wall, but I don't know if we can really make that match that well. I guess this kind of matches. Maybe we could make that work. This is a really small house and it's also a little bit different from what I usually build. And this one in this picture is on the second floor above like a shop and I don't think I want to do that just because in The Sims you can't really do that. I mean you can, you can make a retail store and then run the retail store and have your Sims live above it. But I feel like I'd rather this be a standalone house. So when I was messing around with this a little bit earlier, I was looking at the windows from the university pack because I wanted to do like the blue windows with blue accents. And we've got a wide variety of options here, but not all of them really work. I actually think that these wedding stories windows are my favorite for the shape, but the color of them doesn't really work. I guess in the picture, they're kind of light colored like this, but I'd rather have a more vibrant window color. And I really, really, really want it to be blue. I mean, keep in mind, we're channeling this, right? And these have really vibrant blue doors and windows. So instead, I think that this window from university, there's a couple different variants. There's like this darker one and this lighter one. I think that this could work perfectly for what we're trying to do. I like the darker one better, but it also doesn't have as many variations that are plain. I'm also not sure if the door, oh no. Yeah, no. <laughs> we have to use the lighter one. I do not want to have that wooden accent in the door. I like it. I just don't like it for this purpose. But that's kind of what I was thinking for the window situation. And then we can get a bunch of pretty flowers around in the front. I'll probably have a staircase right there. And then I was thinking I would do some platforms on the other roof bits just a little bit. I also love how they had a tiny bit of cover on the porch, like in this area. So I kind of want to do that too. And you see how this fence has that blue accent in it? That's kind of what I'm picturing we'll do here. The only things I'm not really sure about are like what columns I should use and how I should organize this. Maybe I should do a half wall in a couple sections here. So it's not all fence. Obviously this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's a little bit different than the usual blue suburbans that I make. It's uh, it's blue, but it's not really a uh, blue suburban. So <laughs> bear with me. I feel like I need to put a spandrel here just just to like give it a little bit more support. Oh, and then I would cover the roof and half walls too. I haven't really thought about the back yet, but I, I didn't forget, don't worry, <laughs> I'll, I'll get there. I uh, tend to do the back last on builds like this. Should it just match the front like completely? Maybe we could do that and then have a little tiny area that's got a dome. Oh, that looks really weird. Why are you doing that? Is that because of the half wall thing? Maybe I could put a bigger dome. We could do it like that. And then we could have a small back 
porch kind of in that area maybe how's that is that ugly or is it cool i don't know <laughs> this is so out of my comfort zone it's also clipping weird we have a couple pergola items wait there's like a it's base game now but maybe i could try and use this thing on the back because that is really beautiful and that's like the exact color scheme i'm going for maybe i'll do that instead of the extra dome it's kind of okay if it clips on the roof a little bit right oh it's kind of clipping inside <laughs> i don't really want it to clip on the inside it's only a little bit oh it's okay it's not it's not it clips into the roof but that's okay when you're actually down here on the interior you can't see it maybe the door can go there in the back and then we can do a couple windows right here i really like these blue windows i think they're kind of cool do i then just paint the whole house white like i mean i guess yeah i just don't know if it looks bad the lighting isn't good either so that's not helping us oh you know what actually maybe i should use this fence instead of a half wall oh that looks way better that's like so much more interesting to look at i know it's it's just a plain white fence but i feel like i like the edge pieces a bit more do you think i could get away with doing blue on the roof just above this part maybe i could do blue on the roof up here too how does that look i think i prefer how it brings more color up there i just don't know if it matches because it is very obviously a different color blue i don't like the metal so i can't use that and this is too dark mm, i think this is probably the best option and we can do white on the ew i don't <laughs> I don't like how that looks. I was gonna say we could do white on the flat part of the roof, but I'm not really obsessed with it. So I don't know about that. We'll see. Oh, there we go. That's got a little bit more texture to it. That's good. This house is so small. I think that for the floor plan, we'll have to have the bedroom over here. Maybe the bathroom door can go right next to it, almost in like a hallway. And then we'll split up this room as like the main kitchen, living, dining. We can have a lot of outdoor seating, which will help. This house is like all patio, so it's gonna be fine. Okay, it is time to start thinking about landscaping because this needs some help. I really, really, really want to use these, but I feel like, I don't know how many of you also think this, I just have always felt like I don't really like the shape of them, which is so sad because I feel like there's so much potential, but I don't really know how to fit them together in a way that is not ugly. Like, how are you supposed to use that? They're like so large. Maybe it's because they're so big and there isn't really enough pieces, but I don't know. Whenever I try and cover a wall with it, I feel like it just looks so awkward. To me, it's like really obvious that I've just put this big chunky square of flowers on a wall. Like that is just not, it's not good. I don't know how to do it. I wish that there was some more variant in it, I guess is the problem. And I kind of wish that I had it on a tree instead of it being on the wall. I'm gonna go look in the debug from Wedding Stories because they have a couple really nice pieces of landscaping and there's at least one tree that I want to use. Oh, we also have this wisteria, which might actually be an option. I love it being on the corner, but I don't love it clipping inside the house. So we'll have to rethink that. Oh my God, the pieces are huge. That's actually kind of annoying. I don't know how to use it. We have more variants of that from Cottage Living too. <gasps> Wait, our problems are solved. Hold on. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. That like covers the entire wall over here. Is there really only two pieces? Why are they so high up? Of course we have these as well. It's just the same stuff from Jungle Adventure, but in this PAX debug. Oh, we could get a yacht. That's an idea. Ooh, wait, that's kind of pretty. Maybe I can use that. Let me get a couple of these pretty trees and then I can use them to block parts of the house that I don't like, you know, like hide the corners and stuff like that. This thing also has potential because I can maybe use this to start putting some plants along the wall. It's just annoyingly, like right in the center of the wall so it kind of blocks the whole window that might be okay though can you put it backward no you can't okay okay i think that this might work out especially if we can get some more flowers and stuff and then we can try and use maybe some more interesting textures on the floor this one might be a little bit harsh but i feel like it just helps to break up all of the plain white. They added new swatches to a whole bunch of the old base game stone floors. I don't really, mm, I don't really like that. So probably not that one. Oh, this one has some new swatches too. Maybe that, um, no, actually, I kind of think this one's growing on me. I'll switch the foundation texture too, which will help. And then once we get some landscaping on the floor out here. Okay, speaking of foundation, I might have to get rid of it for a second, just so that way I can put the landscaping down. I'm gonna do some classic Simsy method here with the low lying plants being layered together. I'm sorry. I know how to do one kind of landscaping and that's all. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep it up. Is it weird to have it go all the way around the entire building or does that look nice? Cause I'm kind of leaning towards put it everywhere, but I don't know if that's strange. <laughs> So I'm not 100% sure what I should do. Okay, what if we have giant bushes right in the front like that? Obviously the house is gonna be raised on a foundation so they won't be as obviously blocking the house. Oh, <laughs> that's clipping, hold on. Maybe like that. 
And then next, I'll go in and I'll get pink flowers, like, basically everywhere. It is kind of a different shade of pink from these that are on the pergola, but I think that's okay. Let me see how it looks once the foundation is back up, because I, I don't know. <laughs> Is it ugly or is it cool? I'm trying to figure out where to put this tree and have it not clip that much because I want it to be close, but I also would prefer if it didn't clip totally through this. I think that right now I'm feeling like it's a little bit too much. I think it's this part. I think it's these bushes in the front that are kind of throwing me. So maybe I'll try and do it without them or maybe I'll have them just be smaller because that still works, but it's not as green everywhere. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Should I put the mailbox down here or should I put one up on the wall? Um, and then also, should the tree be on this side or on this side? I don't know what to do. There's a couple other trees. Like there's this one that matches the trees in the environment a bit better. I hate to say it. I just, um, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. I don't think this is my favorite tree I've ever seen. And then there's this one, which is, I don't know. It's not as cute though. Maybe I could size this tree down. Oh, size down might be good. And then maybe like a handful of large rocks or something. I think the rocks actually help to break it up a bit. Oh, you know, that kind of came together. I do still think that it looks a little bit weird, but it's getting there, it's getting there. I don't really know what fence to put here with the pergola, because I think no matter what I do, it kind of, I don't know. So maybe I'll just leave it empty because it looks better that way. Oh, terrain paint makes a huge difference as well. Now the outside is mostly finished. I think I want to go in and try and do the interior. I'm going to start with the bathroom because that part is easy. It's only small, so there's not as many decisions that need to be made in here. It's also been a while since I used that Courtyard Oasis kit and that looks so pretty. The house currently costs 11,000. I don't think I'm going to try and make it a starter home. I think I would prefer to just decorate with whatever brings me joy, so I apologize. I'm not gonna use the most expensive stuff. It's it's just not really gonna be cheap either. I'm trying to figure out the kitchen now, and I think this is gonna be a little bit difficult for me because it's kind of a strange shaped area. I'd like to use a lot of wedding stories items too, but there's not really enough wedding stories furniture to do an entire house because most of it is like decor for an event. We've got a couple things, like I can get some lounge chairs. I could maybe use some of these chairs inside the house but otherwise like even the dining table probably isn't gonna work because it's so big and we have a very small space oh my gosh i never use this i don't know if i've ever ever used this item i don't think i'll use it in here but i need to keep that in mind for future builds i have an idea i could maybe turn this into two bedrooms i think i'd rather do that just because i like the thought of having a tiny little bit of extra space it's only small but we could put a kid's bedroom in there i think i'll do a light colored wood on the floor i wonder if any of these tables have kind of a fun pattern that we could use i'm just thinking about like these items you know because i never use this table but it also doesn't really match it's like the wrong shade of blue. <laughs> There's only so many shades of blue a person can fit in a build. I like the idea of this tablecloth, but I really, really don't like the legs of the table. I wish that it wasn't metal. Ooh, I forgot that we have the blue fridge. I could maybe use the blue fridge and stove. That is a lot. <laughs> Maybe I need to have a different table. Yeah, you know, we could probably do with something a little bit more simple. I realize that this chair is very, very tucked in the corner, but I don't, I guess I could move the windows around. It probably wouldn't be a bad thing if the windows were kind of off center, because who's going to be looking? You can't really tell that well because it's underneath the pergola, because that way it lines up better and I can have like a window over the sink. Do you think having upper cabinets makes this look weird? I also can't have the tile where I want it because I made this cabinet small. We're back with the exact same problem as before. I guess I could scoot it over more. Oh, that's actually even now. Oh, well, okay, never mind. <laughs> now the window isn't like slightly off center. I love that because these look like the flowers that we have outside so we can try and pretend that we brought some in. Annoyingly, this shelf looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> the lighting is so bad. Is it possible for it to not be bad? What's the reason? Oh, it doesn't like the fridge. Should we do shelving instead of cabinets? Of course, that's the wrong shade of blue. Oh my God, okay. I would like to do curtains, but nothing is really matching that well. I guess I can just do some plain ones like that. The shape of this is all a little bit weird now. I'm kind of wondering, and this might be a very, very strange thing to do, but I'm kind of wondering if I could split up the rooms a little bit more like this. I don't really have a reason for doing this other than just me trying to make 
the place more interesting. But that gives us more of a proper entry and it kind of divides everything. So it's not just one big square. I don't usually do stuff like that. So I'm not really 100% sure if it's ugly or not, but I actually kind of am liking it. Okay, how about that layout for this living room? And then I can get a nice rug. I'll acknowledge that this table looks kind of bad, but <laughs> I don't really know what to do instead. We can try and get some more color and maybe some more pattern with the rug. Although I'm not really feeling, oh, how about this? Ooh, I think that's really pretty. And then I guess like a plant or something in the corner. I totally forgot about the trash can until just now. So I'm gonna get one of those. I might also put some pet bowls inside because we have space. Okay, I went through and added a few other little bits of decorations to finish up the rest of this room. So in the kitchen, I put some clutter around. I got like some tea over here. I didn't put a teapot or a coffee maker or anything because I find them annoying for actual gameplay, but I put some decorations down. I also put some clutter by the sink. In the living room, I added a couple things like this painting and some magazines. I made kind of a proper entryway over here. We've got like mail and a phone and some keys. And then down this hallway, I didn't put much. I put this one painting and a thermostat. Maybe I should have added more. Do you think a rug's a good idea? I don't really like that one. Maybe a rug by this back door. Okay, there a rug and a little tiny plant. And that is the main living area done. We obviously have a small bathroom already and then we're left with these two final bedrooms. I'm picturing this tiny one is gonna be a kid's room. I might put a computer in here just cause it's useful to have. Can I make it have this cute sheep theme? I haven't used that swatch yet, so maybe I will. It's kind of like a sheep and cute mint color scheme. That's what I'm going for. Um. That might be all I go for though, because I don't know how much else I can add. This little bunny does fit. Wedding Stories does have some cute wallpaper, so maybe I'll use the pink one. And the unicorn kind of matches the vibes of the bedspread. Honestly, Horse Ranch came with a whole bunch of really nice items for kids' bedrooms. I didn't really set out to make an animal-themed room, but it actually kind of works. This room is so small, I'm not really sure how much else I can add, but I kind of like how it is right now. It's got the necessities, you have a desk, we have a you know, dog calendar. <laughs> what more can you need? Probably not gonna use that swatch. I don't really know what bed to use. I kind of wanted to have a deeper blue tone to it. And I'd like for it to be a bed that I don't normally go for, but some of these are not really speaking to me. Oh, maybe this bed could work. This one's from Growing Together. That's probably actually a good thing because Growing Together has this really nice and very small dresser that I can use. I don't have space for much. This room is not very big, so we have to make do with small features. The dark wood is like really, really, really not the vibes. I don't want to use it. So maybe I can try and tie in some white here. We can do blue blue lamps. Oh, I actually really like how this room came together. I think that's pretty. Okay, so here's what I've done so far in the primary bedroom. And I like how this came together. I think all the colors work together nicely. And that just leaves us with the entire patio to try to figure out. I'm thinking that in the back underneath the pergola, I wanna put a nice dining table and maybe a grill. This is probably a good chance to use more wedding story stuff because there's another chair and this one might pass a little bit better as an outdoor dining chair. And there's these super cute candles that we can put down as well. But then like, should I put a rug out here? Maybe, I don't think it's that unrealistic to have an outdoor rug. Oh, the grill comes in blue. Is that too much blue? Oh, who am I kidding? The whole house is blue. There's no such thing as too much blue. If there's too much blue, we've already done it. So it doesn't even matter. I think I want to put these lounge chairs out here and I almost want to get an umbrella, but I'm not sure it's going to fit. This one has terrible swatches. I think that this one is really ugly. I'm sorry. I love these flower pots from Backyard Stuff. So I'm probably going to put a couple of them around like by the front door. Also a doormat by the front door maybe. I put a little reading nook type of thing over here in this corner, but I'm not really sure what to put in the front porch area. Maybe a picnic table? I don't know. I really do like, oh, I don't like that color. <laughs> I really do like the picnic tables. I just don't know. I mean, this one kind of matches. I think I could steal the same candles from back here because I really like this little set of candles. And maybe I could get a ceiling fan or something because it's going to be hot out there. And you know what? I think with that, the house might be done. So we have like a bunch of seating out here now. There's table outside, there's lounge chairs outside. Oh, maybe I could get some lights. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry, now it's done. <laughs> with that, it is done. On the interior, we have a really small living, kitchen, dining area, hallway, bathroom, and two bedrooms. And in total, the house costs 41,000. 
Oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Obviously, I'm aware this is not a perfectly accurate Greek home. I just was kind of being inspired by pictures I had seen. And you know what? I'm proud of how this turned out. I don't really build stuff like this very often, so hopefully you liked it, even if it's a little bit out of my comfort zone and, and different for me. I really like how the interior turned out. I'm kind of self-conscious of how the exterior looks, but I'm proud of it still. And with that, I think I might end this video right here, but thank you for watching. And, and by the way, tomorrow is in fact my birthday, so you can't even mean to me about this build. You have to like it. That's just, that's the rules. And I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I know that I only build blue things, okay? I'm sorry, but I, I just embraced it this time. I, I went for it and I think it worked out. <laughs>